All right, guys, for today's video, here's what we're doing. Um, when I turned on for the first time and I got the 943, I hooked up the transducer to the 943. And the first thing I found out was the right side didn't read. It's a GT54. Um, that's a seems to be a common occurrence with uh, Garmin. As a matter of fact, my 93 UHD right there, SV93 UHD, that right there is a GT56. Um, same thing happened. The right side went out. Um, I called them, told them I had a 56. They sent me a 56. I sent them the 54 back, and we rode that thing out. But here's what we're going to do. Today, we're replacing the foot in the foot the, uh, the transition, GT54. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in. We're going to go step by step. This happens to be a lot. I have no idea how to do it. So here we go. We're going to do it right now. All right, so here's what we got to do. First of all, probably got to take this off. We're going to take this off. Then there's two uh, bolts in here and here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to set this up right here. And we're going to take it off. And it seems to me that it should be pretty easy what we'll do is we'll probably pull the cord out of the shaft and attach a rope to it and or some string and that way when we pull it down it'll pull the string back up there then i'm tied to the string pull it right back up there so here we go man i don't run too many logging hydraulic hoses got to put that rope in there man ain't nothing better than some old saw rope you know tied to a hydraulic hose man when you yank it out there it gets in them tough to spice it. it's the only way to do it baby it's the only way to do it but let's see what we got to do here. All right, here we go. If I needed to replace the skeg, that'd be it. Just did it. Man, nothing to it. Let's take all four of these bolts. They seem to have a little Loctite on them. A little blue Loctite. Man, let's take a look at this. Let's see what's under here. There we go. There's another screw right there. Uh, ooh, got a little something right there. I don't know what that is, but it's probably something important. So let's put it back. Let's go here. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, not that size. Oops. Not that size. Let's stop the video and go get the right size. All right, we're back. Got the right size. Bam little bitty bolt little bitty screw bolt whatever you want to call it man now we're going to go in here right in there you can see it going right in this hole let's get it over here let's do this thing right in there i'm assuming this is what takes the nose piece off and that screw is out here comes the other one they're not real tight i'm gonna remind myself of that and here comes the nose piece. It looks like the whole nose piece. Let's try not to lose these screws. Two screws are going there. And here's what the inside of the nose piece looks like. Real heavy duty. Man, that thing's heavy up in the nose. Heavy duty, it looks like six screws holding the transducer to it. Doesn't look like it's gonna be that hard. Uh, let's see which ones it is. That's it right there. Let's knock them out. Those have a rubber bushing on them. And I guess that's to keep water from wanting to intrude in there. Um, pretty cool. There's six of these, and now where in the heck did the screw go? Well, I got lucky, and it sat on the end. Oh. 
but I'm sure y'all don't want to see me take all these off. So I'll stop the video. When I get to the next point, we'll take a look at it. Okay, something here to note. Um, as I got the, the back four screws off, this part right here has two holes that goes into here. It's a little protective skeg or it's the bottom portion of the foot. It comes off and it slides into two little round holes right there. So uh, once we have those off, this uh, transducer comes off. Seems to be, so far, pretty easy. Now you know, you know, it ain't gonna be that easy. Nothing is ever that easy. But let's see. All right, so we've got this part off. It is off. Now, I don't know about the next part. I'm going to stop the video and figure it out. All right. There were four bolts right here. He had to loosen those, and that loosens the foot on it, but that's to get inside of this housing. So let's, there's a collar right here, and we're going to, and that's where the trolling motor, uh, excuse me, the transducer cable runs into. So let's take it off and then I'll get you at the next spot. All right. The next step is we're going to remove this top cap. And the reason is, is because once you get this off, I've already had to loosen the screws. You have to undo a, a little piece where the transducer cable uh, goes through and we're going to go that from there. But here's what I do is I'm going to go ahead and loosen it off. And when I get it off, I'll show you the next step. All right, it's very simple. Um, there's nothing to this top cap. And it's got me wondering if I can figure out a way to mount a light uh, in here, like a little LED light or something right in here um, where I can get turn signal indicator when it's low light. Because it, at times it is hard to see how this turns. But just those four screws, it pops off. The next part is we're gonna loosen this right here. We're gonna push it out, and if I can do it, let me go back a little bit. I'm trying to do this one-handed, and it's not working well. All right, got that out. And that right there just goes around the transducer cable. That's the problem with big old fat fingers. That's what I got, fat fingers. All right, so now the transducer cable, it actually goes um, and wraps around the, shat, uh, the coals, and runs down through here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and run and, and get it and pull it out. And I'm gonna kind of skip that step, but you have to undo each of these little clevises type deals, the little cable keepers. And we're gonna do that and we'll thread it up through here. And then what we'll do is we'll pull it out of the bottom. And I'll show you what you have is right uh, here, this is a uh, a little it's a nut you have a special tool and you take it and you'll screw that off and when you screw that off it comes out and then you can uh, uh you know uh, be able to thread the transducer cable all the way down through there but let's go to the next step i will when i get it done i will show you what i've done and then we'll explain it. all right the next part is you have to take off the two positives now you need to be cognizant of this of which side is the positive and which side is the negative positive is going to be on your upper side up here which will be the port side of your port side your starboard side will be your negatives then you're going to unhook excuse me sorry about that unhook the data cable be very careful with this because it is very sensitive and it has a lot of things in it but that is uh what you do next now i always suggest go to the back go back here unhook your one of your your cables from it that way you're disconnecting the troll motor you don't want any power you definitely don't want 24 volts uh, arcing up here so go to the next part and uh but first let me show you this here's the little nut um that's on there and that's out what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this down and there's a little rubber bushing in here We'll get it out we'll thread that out of there we'll slide the new one in then we'll start reassembly all right the next part is you have to pull your transducer cable through here but let me go ahead and let you know you're going to need to pull your power cable also 
it is so tight that if you don't thread them together, you'll never get it back through there. Go ahead and remove your cap from this. There's a new cap provided in the box with a new one, but go ahead and remove it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this out. That way I can get the uh, transducer cable out and then we'll go to the next part. All right, now that we've got it un, uh, unwrapped from here, make sure that when you do thread it back that you follow these four wraps uh, and reassemble it with these clips and do it properly take the time and do it properly you got a three thousand dollar thirty five hundred dollar trolling motor do it right we're going to pull it up through here and get it out now getting it down through the shaft is not going to be the easiest thing so what you've got to do is you're going to have to remove the head uh from right here and when you remove the head this whole shaft is gonna slide down and that's gonna make it. So we'll go to the next part, then I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, now that we've got this part off, we're gonna thread the wire from the motor, the hot, the ground, and the data cable. You're going to pull them from the bottom half. You're essentially taking the foot off of the trolling motor. That's all that goes down here. So data cable and a hot and a uh, negative. When you pull these out, you'll pull real slow, but here's what you gotta do. You pull it out just a little bit, let it hang, walk back around and make sure the data connection didn't hang up. That is a very, very important thing. I'm trying to leave my loops on here too. That way I know the proper number of loops. Make sure it didn't hang up. It didn't hang up. So what we're gonna do, walk back around and we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. I'm gonna put it right here and pull this out. Easy, be very, very easy. Do not, do not, and I repeat, do not force anything. There it is, we pulled it off. Here it is, the foot. Now, now that you've got the foot out, now that you've got the foot out, there's a rubber bushing with some grease around it. It's separated, just get that off, okay? Now, you're gonna take this, reach your finger up in here, Whoa! Reach your finger up in there. There's the transducer cable. You're gonna pull that off, just like that. Pull it down. All right. I'll go to the next step. All right. We've got it all out. It's all on the ground. There. This is a very important feature right here. There's a ring nut. That's the ring nut we took out of this hole right here. It's very important that you take this ring nut off and put it on the new one, because you'd hate to get it all reassembled and not have this ring nut and have problems. So here we go. All right, now that we've threaded the end through the loop, uh, through the hole, we put the rubber bushing back on, we put the screw, and it's got a rubber O-ring on it. That keeps water from getting up in there. We threaded it up through the top. Um, you can see it right here as I'm moving it. But I'm gonna leave a little slack before I pull it up in there. And just for safety's sake, but right now we're finna thread all the power cables and data links from the foot, put it back on there, reattach the four bolts, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, we've reattached the foot, this part, with this screw. Now we gotta take our two bolts, go through this top, and secure the housing back together. Then we're gonna fix it to this right here. This is not as easy as it looks. Boy, I bet you they made it so it looks so easy when they put it together at the factory. It ain't easy here. But here we go. When I get the next step done, I will show you that next step. All right, guys. Uh, I kind of skipped ahead a little bit, rerouting it and everything. It's all rerouted. And uh, when I get the video, we'll check it out. Everything's been rerouted and plugged back up, and it all works. Yeah.